Three days have passed since the UN envoy announced a truce in Yemen. The truce, which has been widely received, is seen by observers as the last peace opportunity for Yemenis after suffering seven years of grinding war. This report has more details. The two-month truce in Yemen isn't only the most significant step towards ending the conflict in years, but could be an important factor in de-escalating tension in the region. The Arab coalition led by Saudi Arabia, the internationally recognized government of Yemen, and Iran-backed Houthi militia have all agreed to the United Nations-backed truce. According to the United Nations Special Envoy to Yemen, Hans Grunberg, the parties accepted to hold all offensive military air, ground and maritime operations inside Yemen and across its borders. They also agreed for fuel ships to enter into Hodeida ports and commercial flights to operate in and out of Sana'a airport to predetermined destination in the region. They further agreed to upper roads in Taiz and other governorates in Yemen. The United Nations Secretary General Antonio Guterres urged for the agreement to start a better future for the Yemeni people following more than seven years of war that began when the Houthi militia backed by Iran occupied major cities including the capital. The government called on Saudi Arabia and other Arab states to support its efforts to liberate those cities and restore security and stability. Thousands of Yemenis have been killed in the war which led to unprecedented humanitarian crisis that starved millions of people. The truce agreement thus is a critical moment in the conflict. Houthi militia, however, have broken earlier ones. But if the international community can secure an implementation of the militia and its Iranian sponsor, the truce can very well lead to a lasting ceasefire and end to the conflict and a political process to restore Yemen's stability and territorial unity. An end to the conflict in Yemen will also lead to a significant escalation of tensions in the region, stopped mostly by Iran foreign policy through interference in the internal affairs of its Arab neighbors and financing and arming proxy militias such as Houthis, Hezbollah and Iraqi militant groups.